How do long strangles work in under five minutes? When you purchase a long strangle, you're hoping a stock moves either up or down in a major way before the date of expiration. A long strangle's focus is on volatility, that is, if a stock moves up or down in a major way. If it stays relatively the same before the date of expiration, you will lose your money. Let's take a look at a profit loss chart in order to understand this concept better. These lines may seem confusing at first, but we will explain them later as the video goes on. On the left hand side you have the Y axis, which represents profits or losses. On the X axis is the stock price itself at the date of expiration. The bottom line you see represented here shows the maximum loss, which is the most amount of money you can lose on this bet. Now if we trace this out to the Y axis, we see that our maximum loss in this hypothetical situation is $60. Now we draw lines starting from the point of which the maximum loss line starts to turn upwards. This first line is at $24 and the second at $31. This represents the maximum loss space. If the stock finishes within $24 to $31, you will incur a maximum loss. Now you want the stock to finish underneath $24 or above $31. This will see money come your way. Now, the further you are from these points, avoiding the max loss space, the more money you will make. The point at which you start to make money is called a break-even point. The first break-even point for us is at $23 and the second at $32. You want the stock to expire below $23 or above $32 in order to generate a profit. Let's take a look at a stock that fits our hypothetical mold, Twitter, with its current price of $27.99. Let's pretend we bought a long strangle for Twitter and it expires at $36. Now let's plot that on the chart. At $36, we can see that it expired well above the $31 maximum loss and above the $32 break-even point, which means we will generate a massive profit based on our y-axis. Let's take a look at a couple more scenarios involving Twitter so you get the full gist of this. Scenario 2, let's pretend Twitter finishes at $24 at the date of expiration. Because 24 is between the total loss points of 24 and 31, we will occur a 100% loss, which means $60 loss total. Scenario 3, $23.50. Because Scenario 3 falls between the break-even points and the total loss points, we will incur a partial loss because it's not enough to break even, nor is it enough for a total loss. And finally, scenario four, $16. Because 16 falls well below the break-even point of $23, we will incur a massive profit. As you can tell from our examples, in order to generate a profit in this particular trade, you need the stock to expire well below or above the break-even points in order to make money. If it stays stagnant and falls between these break-even points, you will lose money.